What's up, Star Wars fans? Welcome back to the Hyperspace Database. I'm Jonesy the Mandalorian, your host here with today's topic, the Nova Courier. The YKL-379 Nova Courier was a light transport developed by Gallo Free Yards Incorporated during the reign of the Empire, and was used extensively by the Rebel Alliance. The Nova Courier was 30 meters long, had a maximum atmospheric speed of 800 kilometers per hour, and had a Class II hyperdrive with a backup Class 12. The ship was equipped with deflector shields and crewed two pilots and two gunners, while being able to hold up to six passengers and 60 tons of cargo. It was armed with two laser cannon turrets and three concussion missile launchers, which could hold up to 12 missiles per launcher. The Nova Courier was introduced into the light transport market during a period that was dominated by the more popular Corellian Engineering Corporation, and because of this, the ship was not nearly as popular as other CEC ships such as the famous YT series of freighters like the Millennium Falcon. The YKL-37R was notably smaller and more maneuverable than Gallifrey Yard's GR-75 transports, which were seen evacuating personnel from the frozen world of Hoth in The Empire Strikes Back. Being a light freighter lent to the ship being customizable to fit many different roles, and the ship was built standard with enough weapons and shielding to enable it to embark on dangerous missions without fear of returning with a very large repair bill. Gallifrey Yards were known for their medium-sized transports like the GR-75, but they also had a poor reputation because these ships were not very reliable and broke down more often than not. With bankruptcy on the horizon, Gallifrey needed a major winner to bring back revenue, and so the Nova Courier was born mostly to compete with the success of the YT series of freighters. This transition to light freighters from medium cruisers was expensive though, and GY spent too much money on converting their shipyards to fit the smaller vessels. Another obstacle was that Gallifrey's reputation was already in the tank with their unreliable ships, and rumors that the company was about to go under outweighed the potential of a new competitor to the successful YT series freighters. On the verge of collapse as a company, Gallifrey Yards turned to the one organization that was desperate for any kind of ships, the Rebel Alliance. The deal consisted of an order for a large number of their medium-sized transports and a small number of the Nova Courier ships to be produced, though at a very large discount. The same problems that others saw with the ships plagued the Rebel Alliance, though many freighter pilots in the group actually looked favorably on the Nova Courier. Sadly, this action was not enough to save the collapsing Gallifrey Yards and the company went under, selling off many of their ships to cover their debts. This led to many of the YKL-37Rs falling into the hands of smugglers and pirates, who were happy to use these moddable ships to evade the patrols of the Empire and upgrade them for better smuggling. The Nova Courier makes its most notable appearance in the MMO game Star Wars Galaxies, in the Jump to Lightspeed expansion, where the player is able to fly the ship if they are a Rebel Ace class of character. You are able to walk around in the ship and see the inside layout of the craft, from the cockpit where you fly and navigate, to storage rooms filled with all kinds of extra parts, to the escape pods and laser cannon turrets, as well as a lounge area with a holographic strategy table and a conference room, fully equipped with holographic displays and a hollow map in the back corner of the room. The YKL-37R Nova Courier was a ship that did not reach very high levels of popularity throughout the galaxy, but for those that did own one of these rare ships, it was a very affordable alternative that could be easily modified to make it a force to be reckoned with. Want to know more about Star Wars topics just like this one? Stick around to the end for some secret trivia, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and you can check out my other videos for great Star Wars content. Be sure to follow the show on social media and chat me up in the comments too, because I love talking to you guys. Super special shout out to my Gold Captain level Patreon supporters Nick Sutphin, Mist2003, and Matthew Scott. Your guys' continued support is super appreciated and you make the show function. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to chat with me in the comments and I will see you in the next episode.